Hey everybody, Epictetus here with a tutorial on how to get Xbox captures, video and screenshot captures onto an external hard drive and then onto a Mac. All right. For this setup, I'm not going to I don't want to hear about any other setups. I'm just hoping this helps whoever has the same setup as me cuz this is how I got it to work and got it to work fast. This is an external hard drive from Seagate made for Xbox. That's it. I had bought whatever. Long story short, I screwed around with a bunch of different hard drives that I had at home. 90 bucks, done deal. It's worked every single time and got me moving in the right direction. All right. So buy one of those hard drives, plug it into your Xbox, and then let's look at how it works. All right. Um, let's get this started here. Go ahead. And this is, <laughs> this is so bad. It's painful that I'm trying to do a video editing lesson and I'm taking a phone, cell phone picture of my TV right now. And it's just because I didn't want to figure out how to get a capture card. When I got started, I wanted to just get video, Xbox to computer, simple as possible. So you're going to see, basically all you got to do is plug the external in. I'm going to show the video right now. <laughs> Xbox One, not Xbox S, not Xbox X, One X, but the old original Xbox. Plug it into the USB and now you should see the hard drive activate and see it's available okay now all you got to do is hit the Xbox button go over to settings and then we're looking for preferences click on settings go down to preferences and we are looking for broadcast and capture options go down to that and clip resolution I switched to 1080p the default was 720 um, I haven't seen any issues by changing that setting yet so <clears throat> capture location I have mine set already all you have to do is this will say internal for you so you'll click on it it'll be internal and then switch it to see a game drive and you're good to go and now let's switch over and see once you're in the game how to do that recording you'll see new options when you push the Xbox button you'll see capture options and I don't know I always call it select but there you go the options there the options button I guess Capture options, push that, and now you'll see you can record on command. It'll start recording from when you initiate it to when you stop it. And you can still do screenshots, and you can still do capture that like you've always been able to, but you just, those things will all now go to the external hard drive that you have plugged in, all right? And so we started a recording. Now I'm going to show, too, that it's recording, but you can take your screenshot same way you used to, and then screenshot recorded and you should see a confirmation of that that that's all saved to the external drive now screenshot saved those are slick I've used some of those in my early videos here and now you're gonna see on the loading screen I'm gonna show this is how you stop the recording Xbox button push X easy money see confirmation that the video clips been recorded alright so now we're gonna take the external hard drive out of the Xbox and come back to the computer plug the USB cord into the MacBook my, for me, it's a MacBook 2016, late model. Hope your MacBook works, too, if you're watching this far, all right? Plug it in. You'll see the video game drive pop up. Game DVR, click on that. And now this is all of our captures that have been saved, screenshots, good to go. And what I like to do is push Command-N inside a finder. That'll open up a new window. And now go to wherever you want to put it. Mine, on my director, I already got a directory set up on my hard drive. Grab the movie, grab the screenshot, slide it over, and bang. Now it's on your computer. I've been putting them into iMovie, doing some editing, sending them up to YouTube, doing work like this. So if this helped out, go ahead and hit like, subscribe. I do this stuff for a reason. And it's to help you guys out. So if it helped, that stuff's always appreciated. Support the channel. Support the gamers. And I do really hope this guy's helped. If you got any questions, fire me a message and I'll do my best to help out. All right. Talk to everybody later.